160 years of history, five generations, and a tradition passed on from father to son. Ipioca 160 years, the first in Brazil. This Brazilian passion is commemorating 160 years. From a small town in northeast Brazil came the largest producer of cachaça worldwide. Ipioca is today one of the largest business groups in Brazil, present in all states of the country and across four continents. But things were not always that way. At the beginning, everything was quite different. At the onset of the 19th century, thousands of immigrants came from Portugal, seeking opportunities in the new world. such as Dario Teles de Menezes, who in 1843 came to Ceará and acquired a small farm in the township of Maranguape in the countryside. As soon as he was established at the farm, the Portuguese immigrant reserved part of the new property for a sugarcane plantation. Already showing at the age of 17 his significant vocation for business. And that was how, with cane being crushed in a small mill and distilling done in a small ceramic still brought from Portugal, that in 1846 the first litre of Ipioca was made. At that time, production of cachaça was only 30 litres per day, and sale, in bulk, took place in the region's small bars, using a 5-litre container called a canada. And so began the incredible saga of a family that was to build over the generations the largest cachaça manufacturing group in the world. Starting what was to become a family tradition in 1903, Dario Teles Jimenezes, after 49 years producing and improving the cachaça, passed the helm to his son, Dario Borges Teles. Representing the second generation of the family, Dario Borges introduced the cast iron mill, maintaining the manual process in all its stages. Dario Borges Teles, just like his father, made his eldest son his successor. Paulo Campos Teles, then only 18 years old, became responsible for administering the company. Nineteen twenty-four marked the beginning of a new era for Ipioca. Under the command of Paulo Campos Teles, Cachaça came to be recognized by all as a superior quality beverage. And the group reached a level of quality and growth never before witnessed. Paulo Campos made Ipioca an innovating cachaça, being the first to perform the aging process in balsam wood vats, by bottling in liters, and by using shot dispensers and palm wrapped bottles. This packaging, in fact, to this day, is Ipioca's trademark throughout the world. encouraging handicrafts in Serra and employing over 5,000 artisans. Paulo Campos also broke boundaries and, in addition to selling all over Brazil, in 1968 he made Ipioca Cachaça the very first in Brazil to be exported to the German market. In honor of the tradition undertaken by the family patriarch, in 1970, Paulo Campos made his firstborn son, the hard-working young man Everardo Ferreira Teles, his successor. It was under Everardo Teles' guidance that Ipioca finally ranked amongst the largest beverage groups in Brazil. During his administration, growth has been unbelievable 
The numbers prove it. From a single factory, Everardo Telles expanded production of cachaça to five factories, including Ceará Mirim, the largest and most modern in the world. Furthermore, he expanded production capacity to 80 million litres per year and generated over 20,000 jobs directly and indirectly, opening up new international markets and guaranteeing the presence of Ipioca in over 40 countries. But the leader of the fourth generation goes a step further. He invests in state-of-the-art technology and expands the group's activities into new sectors, totaling seven corporations in the most varied segments. In the packaging industry, the Ipioca Group has become a large and modern producer of PET bottles, with average production of 4 million units per month. In the mineral water sector, Naturagua has proven to be one of the largest producers and distributors of mineral water in Ceará. In addition to modern bottling equipment and a strict quality control, the company is renowned for its innovative distribution systems, such as home delivery via an 0800 toll-free number, and the first bulk water supply system in the world, Naturagua Central. In farming, Ipioca invests in cattle rearing, goat farming, pig breeding and aquaculture, including production of spawn, breeding of tilapia and manufacture of fish feed. In the fourth generation, there has also been a growth in social awareness and Ipioca's care for the environment. As a way of processing a byproduct, the sugarcane bagasse is reused in several ways. As an ingredient of animal feed, in manufacture of organic fertilizer, and as a raw material for generation of electric power. In the units at Paraipaba, Pindoretama and Serra Merin, for example, all the power consumed comes from sugarcane bagasse. Furthermore, Based on reuse of bagasse, a new factory arose, producing paper and cardboard, reutilizing part of the sugarcane bagasse to produce packaging used by the group and sold to third parties. In the production of cachaça, Ipioca also gives special emphasis to caring for the environment and is a pioneer in the manufacture of organic cachaça, produced entirely using natural processes and products. In addition, as a way of preserving one of the country's most valuable assets, the group has created a private ecological reserve of 400,000 square meters, a small remnant of Atlantic forest with its variety of plant and animal species. It has also been the current generation of the Telis family that has seen the Ipioca group make a historical contribution to the Cachaça tradition by creating the Cachaça Museum. Housed at the first Ipioca factory in Maranguá, the museum is a living testimony to the path trodden by the Brazilian cachaça industry. There, visitors from around the world have an opportunity to see machinery, photographs and relics close up, in order to learn about the 160 years of history of the Telis family, as well as the cachaça production process. Amongst the unique exhibits at the museum is the largest wooden vat in the world, whose 8 meters in height and storage capacity of 374,000 liters are registered in the Guinness World Records. Now you will see step by step what Ipioca has done every day for the past 160 years and what has made Ipioca the largest and most respected cachaça company in Brazil and the world. It all begins with countless tests and studies to choose the sugarcane. For production of cachaça, the best are those with high sugar content and the greatest resistance to the climate. Having chosen the best varieties, it's time to prepare the soil for planting. 
After planting, the sugarcane seedlings begin to sprout in a few days. And after 12 months, they're ready for harvesting, whether manually or by means of combine harvesters. After harvest, 24 hours a day, trucks carrying sugar cane reach the distillery, where the raw material is weighed and sent to the feeding table. There, sugar cane goes through a tumbler and is transferred to the washing ramp. The sugar cane is then transported over a metal conveyor belt with blades and a fiber remover that will enable extraction of more sugar during the crushing process. The crushed cane goes on to grinding, which involves a system of automated feeding triggered by photoelectric sensors. After grinding, it's time to separate the juice from the bagasse. And it's on the way to the fermentation vats that the sugar cane is filtered. Upon reaching the vats, the fermentation process begins and the juice is refrigerated by means of heat exchange plates. This process, used by very few distilling companies in the world, is fundamental to guarantee the ideal temperature in the process of transforming sugar into alcohol vapor. After this, the juice undergoes centrifugation, whereby the ferment is separated from the fermented sugar cane. The fermented juice goes on to distillation and then to aging in vats made of balsam wood, oak or Brazilian walnut, according to the type of cachaça one wishes to obtain. Ipioca cachaça is bottled using the most advanced equipment in the world in a process that undergoes strict quality control in a modern production line. The bottles are wrapped and palleted, ready to supply markets throughout Brazil and in over 40 countries. Now you know in detail what makes Ipioca a cachaça of unparalleled taste and quality. Get to know a little of the history of this family that has kept the tradition of this genuinely Brazilian beverage alive for 160 years. Nossa missão é levar os consumidores de todo mundo através dos nossos produtos o que fazemos com arte, tradição e amor.